Greetings! Manta Ray 79 here! And welcome back to another deck profile video for... Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days! Alrighty, let's get started. Pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are in the main menu, opt edit deck menu. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm gonna be making one for is a Keter Sanctuaries, Phantom Blaster Overlord, D Booster 10. And alright, let's begin. Going to selecting the deck, entering edit deck, and off we go. Here we are in the edit deck menu. And like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building in today's deck profile video is a Keter Sanctuaries. Phantom Blaster Overlord deck, made up of cards only available up until D Booster 10. Alright, let's begin. So, first we go to Filter Settings and to Pack, show only cards from D Booster 1, Genesis of the Five Greats, D Booster 2, Rush of the Legends, D Booster 3, Advance of Intertwined Stars, D Booster 4, Awakening of Chakrabarty, D Booster 5, Triumph for Return of Brave Heroes, Festival Collection 2021 Festival Collection 2022 Promo Pack number 1 D Booster 6 Blazing Dragon Reborn D Booster 7 Tra Raging Flame Against Emerald Storm D Booster 8 Minerva Rising D Booster 9 Dr Dragon Tree Invasion and D Booster 10 Dragon Masquerade and selecting Apply Filter Packs filtered. Let's get started. First up, the Great 3 lineup. And now for the Great 3 lineup. For the Great 3s in this deck, we are playing Rag Deck, Great 3, Phantom Blaster Overlord. Skills, first skill, continuous as a Vanguard. If your soul has a Phantom Blaster Dragon, this unit gets plus one critical. Second skill, auto as a Vanguard. When this unit attacks, cost, retire two of your rear guards. If the cost and paid, choose a blaster dart from your soul or drop, call to rear guard, and your opponent's vanguard is great through a greater, that called unit, and this unit gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn. So for Phantom Blaster Overlord, it's the main great three to ride in this deck. It skills the first skill. As long as the conditions the first skill are met during your turn, your Vanguard Phantom Blaster Overlord will get continuous plus one critical, giving you more critical to make it easier to pressure or finish off your opponent with. Any second skill, when attacking, after paying the cost, you'll be able to superior call a blaster dart from soul or drop to your rear guard. And as long as the secondary conditions of the skill are met, your vanguard and the cult blaster dart give us 10,000 power, giving you not only another attacker to attack with, but more power to make it easier to pressure or finish off your opponent with. And alright, the grade 3, Phantom Blaster Overlord, we have 4 in the deck, 1 in the right deck, 3 in the main deck. Next up, the grade 3. Phantom Blaster Dragon, skills for skill, auto, when this unit is placed on the vanguard circle, choose a cart with blaster in its cart name from your soul, and you may call it to rear guard. Second skill, action is a vanguard, once per turn, cost, counter blast one, and retire three rear guards. If the cost and paid, choose up to two of your opponent's rear guards, retire them, and this unit gets plus 10,000 power, plus one critical until end of turn. So for Phantom Blaster Dragon, it's one of the main grade threes to play in this deck. It skills the first skill. When you ride this card, you can superior call any blaster from your soul to serve as a potential front row attacker, back row booster, or a rear guard whose skill you wish to take advantage of later in the game. Any second skill, by paying the cost, not only do you get to clear out your opponent's field of rear guards, but you can also give your vanguard an increase of power and critical, making it easier to pressure or finish off your opponent with. And okay, the Grade 3, Phantom Blaster Dragon, we have 4 in the deck. And next up, the Grade 3, Normal Order, Gradia Gradel. Skills, first skill, continuous, regulus piece. You may only have one regulus piece in your deck and use it a total of one time in a fight. And second skill, Order, play this if you have a Grade 3 Vanguard of Persona Right and you do not ride this turn, activate Persona Right, draw a card, all of your front row units because 10,000 power and you're regarded to have Persona Road. So for Gradia Gredel, a powerful order card to play in your deck, it's skill, 
as long as the conditions of the skill are met and you pay the cost, you can activate the Poet Persona Rod effect, which is drawing more cards, giving your entire front row, Vanguard and Rigor included, plus 10,000 power, and you are treated to have Persona Row. Thus, any skills that require you to have already Persona Row that turn, this order card can enable them for you. And affirmative, the grade three, Gradia Gretel, we have one in the deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's grade three lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's grade two lineup. And now for the grade two lineup. For the grade twos in this deck, we are playing Right deck, grade two, blaster dart, skills for skill, auto. When this unit is placed on the vanguard circle or rear guard circle, cost counter blast one and retire another rear guard. If the cost isn't paid, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it. And this unit gets drive plus one until end of turn. Second skill, continuous as a rear guard. During your turn, if your rear guards retire this turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. So for Blaster Dart, it's the main great two to ride this deck. It skills the first skill when ridden or called by paying the cost. Not only do you get to retire an opponent's rear guard, but if a Vanguard Blaster Dart activated the skill, your Vanguard gets Drive plus one, giving you a chance to get additional drive checks and to have a chance to get more triggers or to simply restock your hand with. And the second skill, as long as the conditions of the second skill are met, your rear guard blaster dart then can serve as a potential 15,000 point attacker for your front row. And alrighty, the great two, blaster dark, we have four in the deck, one in the right deck, three in the main deck. Next up, the great two, skull witch nevin, skills for skill continuous as a rear guard during your turn. If you have a vanguard of blaster in its cart name, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. Second skill, auto, when this unit is placed on the rear circle, if your Vanguard's clan is only Shadow Paladin, cost Counter Blast 1 and put a card from hand into the soul. If the cost is paid, draw 2 cards. So for Skull Witch Nemen, a support card for the Phantom Blaster deck. Her skill is the first skill. As long as the conditions of her first skill are met, Nemen then can serve as a potential 10,000 point attacker for your front row. And the second skill, when called, as long as the conditions of her second skill are met by paying the cost, not only do you get to restock your soul for later soul blast, but you can also draw more cards to restock your hand with. And okay, the great two, Skull Witch Nemen, we have four in the deck. Next up, the great two, Spiral Cutie Angel. Skills, first skill, auto. When this card is discarded from hand during your right phase, cost Soul Blast 1 and put this unit in the bottom of your deck. If the cost isn't paid, draw a card. Second skill, auto. When this unit is placed on rear circle, if you Persona Road this turn, cost Counter Blast 1. If the cost isn't paid, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose a card from among them, put it into your hands, put the rest in the top or bottom of your deck. So for Spiral Q, the Angel, a powerful great 2 to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks for skill, the first skill. When discarded from your hand during the right phase, by paying the cost, you can draw more cards to restock your hand with. And the second skill, when called while the conditions of your skill are met and you pay the cost, you have the chance to preview the top two cards of your deck, choose one that adds your hand, and you can then choose to stack the remaining card in either the top of your deck and the or the bottom of the deck, giving you another card in your hand to work with, and the chance to preview for triggers for your upcoming attacks later that turn. And affirmative, the great two, Spiral Q, the Angel, we have three in the deck. Next up, the great two, Knight of Severity, Cleotnia. Skills, first skill, continuous as a rear guard. When this unit will be retired for the cost of the ability of your Vanguard of Blaster and its card name, it may be regarded as retiring two units. Second skill, auto. When this unit is retired by the ability of your Vanguard of Blaster and its card name, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, choose a Blaster Dart from your rear guard and it gets auto as a rear guard once per turn. When this unit attacks, cost, discard a card from hand. When the cost is paid, this unit performs drive checks until end of battle. At the end of battle, remove this, retire this unit until end of turn. So for Kaliotnia, another support card for the Phantom Blaster deck. Her skills are for skill. When a Vanguard Blaster requires you to retire rear guards for the activation of a skill, you can use Cleotnia to substitute for th those rear guards, thus reducing the number of cards you have to pay for a Vanguard Blaster skill. Any second skill, when retired by your Vanguard Phantom Blaster skill, as long as the conditions of your skill are met, you can give a Blaster Dart on your rear guard a skill, which is, when attacking, by paying the cost, your rear guard Blaster Dart can drive check, giving you the additional chance to get more triggers or to restock your hand with the additional drive checks. And alright, the Great 2, Knight of Severity, Cleotnia. We have 
four in the deck. And of that, we just about covered the deck's great two lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's great one lineup. And now for the great one lineup. For the great ones in this deck, we are playing Ride Deck, Great One, Blaster Javelin, Skills for Skill Auto. When this unit is rolled upon by Blaster Dart, reveal the top card of your deck. Call it to rear guard's rest if it is a unit card and discard if it isn't. Second skill continues as a rear guard during your turn. If you have a Vanguard of Blaster in its card name, this unit gets plus 2,000 power. So for Blaster Javelin, it's the main great one to ride this deck. It scales the first skill. When ridden on top of by Blaster Dart, you have the chance to preview the top card of your deck and call it as a rear guard is in rest to make use of in your next turn. Any second skill, as long as the conditions of the second skill are met, your Blaster Javelin then can serve as a potential 10,000 point attacker for your front row or a 10,000 point booster for your back row. And alright, the great one, Blaster Javelin, we have three in the deck, one in the right deck, two in the main deck. Next up, the great one, Aegis Mirror Dragon, Sentinel, Perfect Guard, Skills for Skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel in the deck. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your opponent, your units, and it cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So for Aegis Mirror Dragon, it's a perfect guard for the Keter Sanctuary Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the Card Fight Vanguard Trading Card Game, it features the same skill and activation, which is when used to guard with, discarding one card from hands, you can block an enemy attack. But it also features an ability unique to all perfect guards in a D standard format, which is when used to guard with, while you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making Aegis Mirror Dragon a potential no cost perfect guard in desperate last resort situations. And okie dokie, the great one, Aegis Mirror Dragon, we have three in the deck. Next up, the great one, Blitz Order, Elementary Sanditude. Skills for skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel in the deck. Second skill, Continuous. You may only have one Elementary Sanditude in the deck. Third skill, Order. If your opponent's Vanguard is triple drive, this ability can be played without paying the cost. Plays the cost of, discard a card from your hand if your vanguard is grade 3 or less. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until end of battle. Remove this card. So for Elementary Sanditude, it's a Blitz Order version of the Perfect Guard. Like any other Perfect Guard in the Card Fight Vanguard Training Card game, it features the same skill and activation, which is, when played, discard one card from hand, you can block an enemy attack. But ideally, Elementary Sanditude works best against opponents who play decks that specialize in having vanguards with triple drive. For example, Great Fours, G Units, or vanguards who have their drive checks increased by skill or card effect. Against such opponents, Elementary Sanditude then can serve as a potential no cost perfect guard. And affirmative, the Great One, Elementary Sanditude, we have one in the deck. Next up, the Great One, Witch of Pandering Bruner. Skill continuous as a rear guard. If you have a vanguard of blaster in its card name, when this unit will be retired for your card's cost, it may be regarded as retiring two rear guards. So for Bruner, another support card for the Phantom Blaster deck, per skill, when any skill requires you to retire two or more of your own rear guards, your Bruner then can serve to sub substitute for two of them, thus reducing the number of cards you have to pay for the cost of any blaster or phantom blaster skill. And okay, the great one, which of pandering Bruner we have. Two in the deck, and with that, we just about covered the deck's great one lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's great zero lineup. And now, for the great zero lineup. For the great zeros in this deck, we are playing right deck, great zero, full bow, skill, auto, when this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for full bow, it's the starting unit of this deck. Like any other starting unit in the D standard format, it features the same skill and activation, which is when ridden on top of, if you're the second to go in the game, draw one card. And already the great zero full bow, we have one in the right deck. And of that, which is about covered the deck's great zero lineup. Next, let's get on to the deck's trigger lineup. And now for the trigger lineup. For the triggers in this deck, we are playing the Great Zero, Light Dragon, D Deep Honors, Amritonia, Over Trigger, Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect. Until end of turn, you can perform drive checks for the battles your rear guards attack. 
So for Amertonia, he's the over trigger for the Keter Sanctuary Nation. Like any other over trigger in the Kart Fight Vanguard training card game, he features the same skill and activation, which is when revealed during a drive check or damage check, you get 100 million power and draw one card. But it also features an ability unique to him alone, which is when revealed during a drive check on your turn, for the rest of that turn, even your rear guards that attack can perform drive checks, giving you an increased chance to either to get more triggers or to simply restock your hand with, with more drive checks. And all right, the Great Zero, Light Dragon, DD Honors, Amertonia, over trigger, we have one in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero, Volition, Rigor Dragon, Critical Trigger. We have four in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero, Blade Better Dragon, Critical Trigger, Skill, Auto as a rear guard. At the end of the battle, this unit boosts it. Cost, put this unit into your soul. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, and it gets plus 2,000 power until end of turn. So for Blade Feather Dragon, a powerful critical trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks of its skill. After boosting the attack, regardless if the attack hits or not, as long as you don't mind moving Blade Feather from your rear guard to your soul, not only do you get to build up your soul for later soul blast, but you can give a remaining attacker in your field, Vanguard or rear guard, a little extra power to work with. And okay, the Great Zero, Blade Feather Dragon, we have four in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero, Protection Magic, Karabi, draw trigger, skill, continuous as a guardian. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield. So for Prorabi, a powerful draw trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation deck if her skill, when used to guard with, while well, the conditions of her skill are met, Prorabi then can serve as a potential 10,000 point shield on her own. And affirmative, the grade 0, protection magic, Prorabi, draw trigger, we have 3 in the deck. Next up, the Great Zero, Invigorate Sage, Heal Trigger, Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, if your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. Active if this battle is a second attack this turn or more. So for Invigorate Sage, a powerful heal trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation Dex if it's skill. When used to guard with, while well, the conditions of a skill are met, Invigorate then can serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on his own. Ideally, Invigorate Sage is a counter heal best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in re-standing and attacking multiple times their units, either their vanguard or rear guard. And confirm the Great Zero, Invigorate Sage, heal trigger, we have two in the deck. And next, the Great Zero, Harkness, Tear Sorceress, heal trigger, skill, auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, if the attacking unit's critical is two or greater, and its critical is increased by a non-trigger effect ability, or its original critical is two or greater, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. So for Harkness, Tear, another powerful heal trigger to play in your Keter Sanctuary Nation decks if it's skill, when used to guard with, while well, the conditions of a skill are met, you can then turn your Heartiness Tier Sorceress into a potential 25,000 point shield on her own. Ideally, Heartiness Tier is a counter heal best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in increasing their attacking unit's critical, vanguard or rear guard by skill or card effect. And okay, the Great Zero, Heartiness Tier Sorceress, heal trigger, we have two in the deck. And at that, which is about cover the deck's trigger lineup. Next, let's get on to... And with that, the deck's been built, card effects explained. For the cards in this deck, we are playing 4, Grade 3, Phantom Blaster Dragon. 4, Grade 3, Phantom Blaster Overlord. 1, Grade 3, Gradia Gretto. 4, Grade 2, Blaster Dart. 4, Grade 2, Skull Witch Nevin. 3, Grade 2, Spiral Cutie Angel. 4, Grade 2, Knight of Severity, Cleonia. 3, Grade 1, Aegis Mare Dragon. 1, Grade 1, Elementary Sanditude. 2, Grade 1, Witch of Pandering, Bruner. 3, Grade 1, Blaster Javelin. 1, Grade 1, Full Bow, Starting Unit. And for the triggers in this deck, we are playing 1, over trigger, Amritonia. Eight. Critical triggers. Three, draw triggers. And four, heal triggers. 
All right, deck built, card effects explained. Now it's time to test out a deck. And here we are, back in the main menu. Going to test out a deck, so let's head over to the fight menu. Don't Going to like CPU this. fight. Selecting Don't the deck I just showcased, the Keter Sanctuaries. Phantom Blaster Overlord, D Booster 10 deck, and... All right, selecting the deck, so. choosing my Don't opponent. Like I'm gonna test this deck out on... Dragon Empires, Toshiki Kai, Hard Difficulty, and click. The battle begins, let's get started. Here we are in the fight, we're gonna decide who goes first, so... Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Paper to paper, one more time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock the scissors, I win, going first. Drawing our starting hands, I got a... Aegis Mare, Skull Witch Nemin, Spiral Cutie, Bruner, and Blaster Javelin. Not a bad starting hand, not gonna redraw. Stand up the Vanguard, and... Going first, draw. I ride from the right deck, Blaster Javelin. Right deck cost, I am discarding Spiral Cutie Angel. Discard and nice. ride Blaster Javelin. Skill of Cutie. I Soul Blast one and Soul Blast. Move Cutie to the bottom of the deck and draw a card. Draw! Yes, Blaster! Phantom Blaster Dragon! I have the components I need for my upcoming turn. So, that's the end of my turn. Now it's my opponent's turn. My, turn. my opponent rides the Great One. Nice. Embodiment of Armor Bar, skill of Undo, he draws a card. Calling the back row, Gojo. 16k from Vanguard, and... No guard, gonna take it. He drive checks. Ah, draw trigger. He draws more cards. One damage, here it comes. Ow! Damage check. Yes, draw trigger. Slucky me, draw more cards, power up. Uh, that was a pretty good draw, so end of my opponent's turn, my turn. Stand and draw. I ride from the right deck, Blaster Dart. Right deck cost, I am discarding. Draw trigger, Parabi. Discard and ride, Blaster Dart. Skill of Blaster Javelin. Superior call the top card of my deck. It is a Spiral Cutie. Superior call. Then Blaster Dark skill. Counter Blast 1. Counter Blast and retire Spiral Cutie. Retire a rear guard, retiring Gojo, and my vanguard gets try plus one. Next up, I am calling to the rear guards a Cleotnia and a Blaster Javelin. That ought to do it. On to battle phase. Blaster Dark attacks the vanguard. Twin drive. The attack goes through. First check. No trigger. Perfect guard. Second check. No trigger, Gradiac Gredel, Persona Right Material, not too bad, Slash, damage check, no trigger, the end, one less card to worry about, boosted by Javelin, Cleonia attacks the Vanguard, 20k, the attack goes through, Slash, one damage, damage check, no trigger, the end, yes, another less card to worry about, end of my turn, my opponent's turn, my opponent rides, Great 2, Dragon, let me haul him. Bar skill, searching deck 4. Another Gojo, adding it to hand. Calling Burning Horn Dragon, Burning Horn skill, counter blast and reveal. Nothing, counter charge, he calls Gojo. Vanguard to Vanguard, 18k. No guard, gonna take it. Drive check. No trigger, another Burning Horn, one damage to me. Ow, damage check. No trigger! Persona Ride, not good for me. Skill of Gojo, he countercharges. Now Burning Horns of Vanguard. Should I guard or not guard? I'll let it go through, no guard. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, Blaster Dart, that's not good. End of my opponent's turn, now it's my turn. Stand and draw! Yes, Blaster Dart! I ride from the right deck, Phantom Blaster Overlord. Right deck toss, I am discarding a critical trigger and ride, nice. Phantom Blaster Overlord. Next, I call Skull Witch Nemen to rear guard. Call <laughs> Nemen's skill, Counter Blast 1. Counter Blast and move Phantom Blaster Dragon into the soul. 
Vanguard gets put continuous plus critical and draw. Ah, oh, come on. I drew my over trigger. Ah, uh, unbelievable. Well, at least I got a perfect guard. I guess that's okay-ish. Next, I call to the rear guard. Bruner. Good. And I switch to positions of Javelin and Cleotna for the time being, so that ought to be enough. On to battle phase. Blaster Javelin attacks the rear guard, Burning Horn Dragon. The attack goes through. Pierce, one less rear guard to worry about. Now, boosted by Bruner, my Nemen attacks the Vanguard. 15k. The attack goes through, and boom. Damage check. No trigger, safe. Now, Phantom Blaster Dragon attack the Vanguard. 13k, two crits. Skill check of Phantom Blaster Overlord. I retire two rear guards. Retiring Bruner. Count as two rear guards. And from the drop or soul, Superior Call Blaster Dark over Nemin. Call. Power up. Not activating Blaster Dark skill. Keep double guards for 20k, 25k, two to the pass. First check. No trigger, Phantom Blaster Dragon. Second check. No trigger, another Phantom Blaster Dragon. Seriously, two in a row? Fine, Blaster Dark attack the Vanguard, 15k. The attack goes through, Flash. Damage check. Ah, no trigger, come on, so lucky. He heals the damage. That's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. Here it comes. He rides to grade 3, Dragonic Overlord. Skill of Nehalem, superior call to rear guard. Nehalem skill, soul blasting one, adding power to himself and the vanguard. Next, he's going to call Burning Horn Dragon, Burning Horn skill, counter blast, and nothing, so battle phase. Ah, he's target attacking Javelin. Powering up Burning Horn, I can't protect it, so sorry Javelin, you gotta go. Twin Drive, first check. Ah, not another Keo Trigger! Ah, I thought we expected two damage, so lucky! Second check. Oh, come on! A critical Trigger, double Trigger, uh, two Keo Triggers in a row, and now a critical! How can someone be so lucky? Ah, sorry about that Javelin, and now... That overlord skill, he's re-standing. Rear guard the vanguard. No guard, can I take it? Ow! Damage check. Heal trigger, yes! I heal my vanguard and... Power up the vanguard. Uh, that was close. Here comes 18k. Skill of Burning Horn, adding more power. Should I guard or not guard? Should I risk it? Hmm. I better not risk it, perfect guard. I don't want to risk getting critical again, so Aegis from a skill, discarding a card from hand. I discard Phantom Blaster Dragon, perfect guard activated. Key drive checks. A great two, perfect dragon, the attack fails, and the chink. Now Burning Horn attacks my rear guard, Blaster Dark. Sorry, buddy, you gotta go. Sorry about that. Blaster Dark is gone, and... That's it for my opponent's turn, my turn. Stand and draw. Here we go. Let's go into main phase, activating the order card, Gradia Gradel. Persona Ride activated. Persona Ride effect, activate. Power to front row, draw. Oh, come on, I drew another critical, seriously? What is my... All my, why are all my triggers leaving my deck like this? Fine, I move my Cleonia to the front row and call... Phantom Blaster Dragon, call! And I call the critical trigger... Blade Better Dragon, call! That should be enough. On to battle phase. First boosted by Blade Better, Cleonia attacks the Vanguard, 24k. He guards with critical trigger, 28k, just barely enough. Now my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. No, not activating Blade Fetter's skill. Vanguard to Vanguard, 23k, two criticals. Blast Phantom Blaster Overlord skill, retire two rear guards. I retire Cleotnia. Her skill treat her as two rear guards. 
And now, superior call from Drop or Soul Blaster Dark. Call. Power up. Power up. And then, Blaster Dark skill. Counter Blast 1. Counter Blast, retire rear guard. I retire Blade Setter. Retiring one of my opponent's rear guards. Retiring Burning Horn Dragon. And Drive plus 1. Then, I activate Cleonia skill. Blaster Dark can Drive check this turn. He tackles through. Twin Drive, first check. No trigger. Spiral Cutie, second check. No trigger. Blaster Javelin, two damage to opponent. And Pierce. Damage check first. No trigger. Nihalem, safe. Second check. No trigger. Safe. Yes. Now, Blaster Dark attack the Vanguard. 35k. Skill of Cleonia. Twin Drive activate. Discarding Blaster Dark for the cost. With Blaster Dark skill combo Cleonia, Twin Drive is enabled. First check. No trigger, another Cleonia. Second check. No trigger, Bruner. So one damage and slash. Damage check. No trigger. Now the final attack. Phantom Blaster. Oh, hold on. The cost of Cleonia skill also retires Blaster Dark. And now, here we go. Phantom Blaster Dragon, attack the Vanguard, 23k. He double guards, 23, and intercepts, 28. Just barely enough. <sighs> that was an okay turn. My opponent only has three cards left, so end of my turn, my opponent's turn. He Persona rides, oh no! He's Persona riding, Dragonic Overlord, the classic, drawing more cards, and calling Nihalem. Nihalem skill, he Soul Blast, and... Powers up the Vanguard and Nihalem. Now it's his battle phase. He attacked my rear guard. Once again, cannot attack. Sorry about that, Phantom Blaster. You gotta go. He twin drives for check. Oh, come on! Seriously, another heal trigger? How does he keep getting so lucky? Second check. Come on, nothing. Oh, come on! Again! A double trigger. Heal and critical. Ah, uh, seriously? Fine, then he activates his Vanguard skill, he can restand. Uh, unbelievable. Two double triggers and heal and critical in the same order in both his turns. Fine, perfect guard, Aegismar Dragon. Perfect guard cost, I am discarding. Bruner. Perfect guard activated, drive check. No trigger, the end. Ah, another good card. He can cross right next turn. And now Nihalem attacks the Vanguard. 45k. No guard. Gonna take it. Ow. Damage check. Heal trigger. But cannot heal. Ah, so unlucky. Power wasted and trigger wasted. Ah, this is so not good. And of their turn, my turn. Stand and draw. Blaster dart. Go skipping right phase. Going to main phase. I call to the rear guards. Cleotnia. And Blaster Dark. Call. Not activating Blaster Dark skill, and then I'm going to call Blaster Javelin to rear guard. Calling. Good. And Blade Better Dragon. Calling. Good. That should be enough. On to battle phase. First, Cleonia unboosted attacks Nihalem. He tackles through and slash. Now, Phantom Blaster Overlord attacks the Vanguard. Skill of Phantom Blaster Overlord, Retiring Bruner. Count as two cards. And then Superior Call from the Drop or Soul, Blaster Dark. Calling Blaster Dark, call. Power up. And power up. And then Phant Blaster Dark skill, Counter Blast 1, Counter Blast. Retire one of my own rear guards. I retire Blade Fetter. This turn, my rear guard Blaster Dark on the right side gets Drive plus 1. Cleotnia skill, giving skill to the right side Blaster Dark. By paying a cost, it can drive check this turn. He double guards for 43k, two to pass, first check. Yes, draw trigger! I draw a card and give power to the left side Blaster Dark. Second check. No trigger, Nemen. The attack fails, but now. Blaster Dark on the left attacks the Vanguard, 25k. The attack goes through, slash. 
Damage check. No trigger, safe. Now, boosted by Blaster Javelin. Blaster Dark on the right, attack the Vanguard. 35k. The skill provided by Cleotnia earlier. Discard one. I discard Nemen. And now, Blaster Darks can drive check. Combine its own skill, it's twin drive. First check. No trigger. And second check. No trigger, Phantom Blaster Dragon. One damage to opponent, and slash. Damage check. Yes, critical trigger, six damage, he cannot heal. Trigger effects wasted, and... Six damage, game over, I win. <sighs> that was a pretty nerve-wracking fight. Despite some really lucky triggers from my opponent's side, I managed to get the cards I need to make this deck work and win the game, so... I got win, perfect guarded, did a persona ride, eight turns pass, did a superior call, retired five or more opposing units, and draw three more times in one turn. I got 1750 VP, total 19,000, 196,285 VP. Pressing A to go next, leaving fight, returning to the fight menu. Back in the fight menu, leaving fight menu, going back to main menu, and to edit deck menu. With that, the deck's been built, card effects explained, and I just finished testing the deck out in front of you, so first I want to say is thank you to the viewers for watching today's video, and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show your support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say goodbye, and see you all soon!